what are my favorite video games or uh, right now i'm not playing any video games so i can't say what my favorite video games are right now but i can tell you what some of my favorite video games have been uh one of the most ultimate here i'll we'll go through history i've i've, I've mentioned this before when we're doing it but uh atari when it first hit the scene was amazing especially but pong was amazing and some of the other things were amazing the handheld games i still have some of them were amazing right but when gaming really kicked in atari was a big one but for for me sega genesis was the was the thing that really kicked us up right sega genesis and sonic uh pc games actually before sega genesis was pc games and pc games surprisingly was apple initially with the apple II, we had some games that we played one of them was a castle one was a knight's castle uh, i forget what the name was uh and uh anyway i've shown some of those games so apple 2 pc games there's firecrackers going on pc games really did it right but for console games sonic the hedgehog was absolutely brilliant sonic was phenomenal 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 right in home games arcade games came before that too i can't forget about arcade games right arcade games you would have had centipede was one of my favorite games there were defender was amazing but difficult for me centipede i really love you had pac-man you had you had a lot of different games joust was amazing there's a lot of different games we played right for console games you went to sega genesis uh, was amazing sonic was one of my favorite mario brothers was one of my favorite right but mainly from the uh the arcade version right and then uh what do we get into uh kick it up kick it up kick it up lots of pc games i played i love pc games um war warcraft was amazing warcraft we spent so much time on nar nardog was there <laughs> He used to play on the run here. A lot of uh, has some Star Wars games I played. Um, one of the other great games is Vice City. Love Vice City. Love Vice City. Tetris has been always amazing. Okay, from the 1980s all the way up. But one of the greatest Tetris games was the N64. New Tetris is absolutely amazing. For Sega Genesis, one of the greatest games. It's not just for Sega Genesis. One of the greatest games ever created was Herzog Zui. It's the first uh, two people fighting war game, but not man fighting, but strategic war game. I forget what you call them, right? Building, it's like Warcraft, right? Absolutely phenomenal. One of the greatest, most brilliant games ever created. If you've never played it, track it down and play it. Uh, I can tell you what the game is on our Discord page. Uh, so a lot of games, man, a lot of games. Happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween, everybody the kez i was uh it was before my time really but i used to play it on my dad's old sega mega drive mega drive punisher max kaboom for the atari kaboom was amazing kaboom was amazing uh 2600 is my favorite yeah so fun so fun bubbler bubbler game is really good too i forget what it's called veltrain arcade games were always two steps ahead tech wise of the console games unless you had the money to fork out for a, a new neo geo another one is gauntlet arcade gauntlet absolutely amazing me and a friend finish uh, the gauntlet arcade gauntlet and gauntlet the original gauntlet was amazing too the 3d gauntlet we we finished the original gauntlet was amazing oh, oh gauntlet was so good so good raising raising how are you doing first time chat uh arcades being back so many memories so many memories magical 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 right and even the little arcade machines they had the gas station <laughs> so good joe chicho sega genesis was when i first started gaming i believe sonic was the first i ever played sonic so good so good doom so good the pc doom i played the pc doom i have the pc doom it was back in 1980 1993 was great the pc doom is that the one you're talking about punisher max so good so good veltrain it was considered a technological marvel when wolverstein uh, enemies were given voices and could yell at you cool cool uh have you seen the trailer for the Elden Ring coming out? No, 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 I haven't. 
Spencer, link it up uh, for us on our Discord. That'd be super cool. If I'm thinking about the right thing, Joe Chicho, one of my most loved games from my childhood was a really underground game ca called Quack Shot, starring Donald Duck. I don't know this. Me and my granddad used to play it all the time. What? What is this game? Joe, link it up in our Discord. Uh, show it to us. IG Mortal Kombat 1992 on arcade. I was never good at it, but I had friends that were just so phenomenal. That I boom, boom, finish it. I think they'll finish it. Mortal Kombat. Veltron. Everyone wanted to be uh, that arcade pro. Yeah, yeah. Where they put in only a quarter or two and beat the game. Yeah. Yeah. I never beat any game on a on a quarter, but on centipede I was really good. I I, I was on the top, you know, on centipede. <laughs> so good. Love centipede. And another one that was really good. What was that called? Space command or something? There was rocket strings coming down from the sky and you had these bases you have to protect. You did nuclear explosions. That was super fun too. And that was on a wheel too. <laughs> So good, so good. Sana Yoshi, how are you doing? I must be so lucky because I have just caught uh caught the stream. <laughs> nice, Soshi. Welcome, welcome. Also, howdy y'all. Howdy, howdy, Yoshi. We're coming towards the end, Yoshi. But we had a great stream. It was very chill, actually. We had some couple of intense moments, me going off on rants, but otherwise, very, very chill ever played dawn of war is the main game i play no i don't know dawn of Go dawn of war dawn of war no i don't know it it's war games any war games war warcraft was amazing i spent many 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 hours and nights playing warcraft so much fun did you ever play any games in the dark soul series i don't think so no no spencer um Unless there are uh, games I played that belong to the Dark Souls, I didn't, uh, I didn't know. And Vice City, gang, Vice City was a uh, Grand Theft Auto. Vice City was absolutely brilliant. What an amazing game! What an amazing game! It was three of the most amazing my, uh, months I ever spent. I would go do my thing, and I would be. Just chilling at home for hours upon hours playing Vice City. Oh, another one. Uh, Destruct Derby on the N64. What a phenomenal game. Destruct, Destruct Derby on the N64. Such an amazing game. One of the greatest driving games there is. And the soundtrack on it is so good. So good. The Kez. Uh, it's a real-time strategy game like Warcraft, but based on the Warhammer 4000 universe. Oh, I don't know this one. No, I haven't played it. No. GTA San Andreas too. Indeed, indeed. So fun to drive. So fun to drive. Yoshi, are you familiar with a game called Sacrifice RTS? Magic focus game. Came out uh, circa 2000. No, no. I don't know that game. So many amazing games out, right? Like... Uh, and for me, when I play any game, if I'm really into it, I don't play anything else. I just play. I, I think it's a lot of gamers. I just, I would just play that, just play that, just play that. And then because I love gaming a lot, and I've learned early on in my life that I need to control my passions so they don't turn into addictions. I would never go from one game that I'm going off on or one thing I would going off on right into another one. And that goes with books as well. When I'd be reading like an amazing book like Days of Destruction, Days of World Politics, Economics, when I finish it, I would never right away pick up another book, right? And immerse myself in that. I need to process that, right? So my gaming experience has been limited on the amount of games I've played. Uh, but I've known there have been so many amazing games out that I missed out on, right? Maybe in my retirement. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> retirement maybe in the next life punisher max the soundtrack for vice city is fantastic 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 i'm actually surprised vice city hasn't caught on more right now because the 80s are in and vice city was very 80s 
It's like Miami Vice 80s. All right. Edgy. Leg Legacy of Kane. Soul Reaver is my favorite game of the 21st century. Wow, wow, wow. Is this Kane from Mortal Kombat? Is Kane in Mortal Kombat or? Uh, yeah, yeah, Kane is Mortal Kombat for sure. Yoshi. Oh, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> GTA San Andreas. <laughs> This is just Yoshi's reference. Joe Chicho, I remember when I played uh, Little Big Planet. What a fantastic game. There had been nothing like it before, and it blew my mind. Little Big Planet, what a fun game. I used to play it at my friend's place. I would go there and play Little Big Planet. <laughs> One of the happiest games ever. Feel good, anyway. Edgy. I didn't play it too much, but what I played, I really loved. Edgy, we need a game based on journalists fighting the secrets of corrupt governments. Uh, true that. True that. Yoshi. Vice City, San Andreas, and Liberty City are coming out soon. Remastered. Oh, are they Yoshi? Damn. Damn. Vice City Remastered. What would they do? I wonder if they could still release all the songs from soundtrack. I'm assuming they signed an unlimited uh, didn't run out very cool very cool little big planet is amazing yeah little big planet is amazing very unique there's a couple of other games i used to play at my friend's place uh, but i don't remember the names there are some really cool games just visually stunning just stunning it was during the first wave of just creating really visually stunning uh games and I had friends that were in the gaming industry during that time, during the golden age of gaming, really. Uh, late 90s, early, late 90s, early 2000s. So I, I was sort of hooked up on that front. And it was cool to be around uh, uh, around that scene. Punisher Max, can't forget about the classic Pac-Man. Yeah, Pac-Man's fun. Super fun. Stressful at times. <laughs> Gattaca. Gal Galica, Gal Galica, Gal Galica, Is Gal Galac Galaxa. Oh my God! Arcade game, super fun. Joe, I spent a big portion of my childhood obsessed with Flight Simulator in uh, two thousand and four. I started uh, by passion for aviation, cool. And for me, it was uh, one of the greatest. Uh, flight simulator it was a flight but it was a star wars game it was for the apple II, I've x-wing x-wing commander i think it was x-wing commander um and then they brought it out for pc as well so i was doing that as well but x-wing was amazing x-wing was amazing for pc and gang as hedgy would say uh game based on journalists trying to take down centralized power right and that game should have the message of freeing Assange, freeing Assange, freeing Assange. Julian Assange, a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. Right? Just imagine if we had a game based on that. A game based on trying to bring transparency and accountability of centralized power. Right? Wow, wow, wow. 